All right, this next lesson is going to be about how to make and create your brochure using the InDesign software. So we're just going to get straight into this. The project that you're going to be working on is about healthcare or a certain aspect of health care and a health issue. So what's a health issue? Well, something that has to do with uh, how people uh, are treated for problems that they have such as lung cancer and that's what we're going to concentrate on for this brochure and you're going to do the same thing you're going to create sort of the same thing with your brochure so the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up a way that we can uh, write text into our brochure and we're going to create a brochure that has greeking text just like uh, what would be used in any normal graphic design uh, project that doesn't have actual text ready to go into that project or into that actual piece of artwork. So we're going to create our own greeting text. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to go to the internet and this is what you'll do. And then we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in uh, greeting text And there you go, you can see it, it's a creaking text generator, and here it is, I'm going to select it. And so what we should get is this one right here, Greeking Machine, DuckIsland.com, right here. This is the one we want right here. So I'm going to select it, and it's going to take us to this website. And when it launches this website, you're going to be able to uh, select uh, a, a Greeking Machine, a, 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 a website that's going to create actual Greeking text that we're going to use to create for our document. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, select this little number right here, number three, and we're going to uh, take that and make it into um, uh, 15 or 10 or 20. It's whatever you would like to do, but I would at least do 10. I'm going to select uh, 15 because I want 15 paragraphs of Greeking text. And we're going to go with classic Latin. You can see the other uh, Greeking text languages that they'll do and uh, I'm gonna just create the output button and there we go I'm gonna uh, have um, 20 or 15 or 10 whatever I selected with my Greeking text now I'm gonna get rid of some of these short little lines of Greeking text I don't want those in there and I want to have full body of text in my paragraphs uh, there's another one, so I'm correcting this before I even get started. And I want to make sure I don't have any other super short lines of text. I want full paragraphs. That's why I went with 15. Uh, this is not too bad. This one here I don't want. It's very short. And so we're going to actually uh, bounce that back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this text. So I'm going to click with my mouse and select. And I'm going to drag all the way to the bottom. Select all of this text. And now I'm going to uh, copy it. So I'm going to hold down the Command key and the C key on my keyboard and copy it. Or I can also go to my Edit and do a nice little copy here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Word program, my Microsoft Word, right down here at the bottom, Microsoft Word, and select it. Once it opens, I'm going to create my own Greeking Text document. That way I can take this Greeking Text and paste it right onto my uh, document uh, for the uh, InDesign project that I'm going to be creating. Okay, Now, Microsoft Word is open, so I'm going to go ahead and select it there you can see, and I'm going to create a new uh, document, a new blank document, and when it opens I'm just simply going to paste this, so I'm going to go to Edit and Paste, and it just uh, created uh, the document that I want. Now, don't worry about these red lines. It's simply saying that I'm an English language document and I'm going to correct all of the spelling mistakes. Well, why does it have spelling mistakes? Because it's all in Greek. So don't worry about these lines here, okay? Don't worry about these red marks and green marks that it's doing. I'm simply going to save this document. I will do a save as. Go to file, save as. And I'm going to name this document Greeking text. So as soon as uh, you get this, you can go ahead and change this. Greeking text. 
and make sure that right here you save that document to your desktop. All right, now that I've saved this document, I can go ahead and close it or I can keep it open. And for the sake of uh, our project today, I'm going to keep it open. Now I'm going to open up InDesign. And now that InDesign is open, I'm going to go to my new document and we're going to set up a new document. And so I'm going to uh, create two pages. It is going to be a landscape. So I'm going to select this little guy right here, not portrait where he's standing tall, but sideways. And I'm going to create three columns. That's all I'm changing here. Two pages, landscape, and three columns. And select OK. Now, when we select OK, we're going to open a new document, and it's going to have two pages, and they're going to be one, page two. You can see this one's highlighted. That's the one that's showing. And we're going to have three columns on both pages. Okay. Now, when we lay this out, we have to remember that page two is going to be uh, different than page one. So what we have here is we're going to have text on these three columns, and we're also going to have text on these three columns. But these columns are numbered different than what you normally would uh, number them, okay? So on page one, we have column number one, okay? And then we have column number two. Excuse me, I'm getting that wrong. We have column number two, column number three, and column number four. Then when we select page two, we have column number five, column number six, and column number one. One is all the way to the right on page two. Column number one is going to be our cover. This is actually going to be our mailer, and then information on column five. So five, six, one, that's on page two, and on page one, we have columns two, three, and four. So don't forget that. Now we're going to go ahead and copy our text. What I'm going to do is take my cursor. I simply take my cursor, click it one time with my mouse. Now I'm going to, you can't see it, but I have a cursor up in the top left-hand corner of my uh, document here, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a copy and paste. And since I copied the other document earlier, and it's still here, I've already copied this, and I'm just going to do a copy and paste, drag the whole document, do a copy, command C, or edit, and copy. And now I'm going to go back to my InDesign document, and I'm going to place my text by clicking my cursor anywhere in this first column, and now I'm going to place my text. And so now what I'm going to do is take my, uh, my selection cursor and I'm going to move this text to the top left-hand corner and then I'm going to grab my uh, transform handles and stretch this text. And notice I have more text here. How do I know that? I've got a little red plus sign here. I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to select it on this little plus sign and I'm going to drop my text in. And notice I have another red plus sign here. I'm going to do the same thing right up here on the top. And I don't have to get it all the way to the top, just close. And if it doesn't fit, I simply click on it and drag it to the top. And notice I've run out of space here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do another copy and paste. I'm going to take my type tool, select right here, give it one little space so that I have a space in between my paragraphs. And I'm going to do the same thing, copy and paste. Now I'm going to go to my page two, do the same thing copy and paste, and it pastes it right there like it did before. And now I'm going to have all my text done on these three pages. Very simple, very easy to do. If you have any questions, you can email me uh, any questions you need, and there you go. It's all set. Now we just have our cover to do. And we're going to add our pictures onto these columns also. That'll be in the next lesson. If you have any questions, email me or ask me in class how to set your text into your document. Good luck and uh, ask me anything you need to in class.